Yes, OM Digital Solution had released a teaser of their WOW camera. And today, I'm going to analyze it so we get some ideas on what it is and maybe have a little fun in guessing what improvements it's going to feature. Let's get started. Before I dig into this new teaser video, I would like to announce a giveaway sponsored by iFootage with a chance to win two of the 10th anniversary limited edition timber pot rosewood and copper edition and three of these beechwood and silver edition. Well, either is very unique and versatile wooden tabletop tripod. If you want to be one of the lucky winners for this giveaway, all you need to do is to share iFootage timber pot video on Facebook link in the description and they will randomly pick the lucky dudes for these awesome timber pots. Good luck! First, for those who got too furious and angry about the event last week, I'm not so sure how many actually listened and saw the first tease on their new WOW camera that OM Digital Solutions is going to launch in the new year. Second, for those who left this channel, yes, I lost quite a few after my positive reaction video of the announcement event last week. I'm not so sure why people hated me being positive and they rather me being negative and talk rubbish about the brand and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm genuinely being positive. But anyway, welcome back if you're rejoining me as a photographer and not an OM ambassador. Well, I still am, but I already said last month that I'm expanding this channel to include more photography and filmmaking than pure gear review. So you'll see me more using my gear than talking about them. So first, let me play this short teaser so you can have a look at it yourself. And you're welcome to watch it, freeze it as many times as you like, of course. <laughs> but anyway, let's roll. First thing you will notice in this video is the prism. It definitely has a slight recontouring, less of a steep angular inset like the M1 Mark III or the X. So it is definitely a new camera. Second, there is a grip, signifying it is definitely a pro body, very much like the current M1 series. But more interestingly, OM system has relocated the front dial from the shutter button to the lower section, right underneath where the new button is, just like the M1 X. When the X was released, it did mention the reason for this relocation. It makes it more rugged, more resistant to elements. So this change is welcome for sure if you're looking for a top-notch pro body. Third is big. Literally, the EVF iCup is much larger than the one on the M1 Mark III, about the same size as the current M1 X. But we know it's going to be a new EVF. With the size of the one like the M1 X, I can predict a ultra high-res EVF, perhaps a more modern 3 million dot unit. Of course, I'm only guessing, but we know this is going to happen at some point. Even the Panasonic G9 EVF is high res and bigger. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a more industry standard piece of tech there. Finally, the full body shot. Well, at a glance, it looks like an ordinary EM1. But if you pay more attention to the left top plate and the side of the camera, you definitely see the differences. First, the top on off switch and the drive mode buttons have a more concave recess. Looks more ergonomic and the side is more interesting. The port flaps are more EM1X-like. But now, pay attention to the bottom of the side. Unlike the X, there is nothing underneath. And this means that the new camera doesn't feature a built-in vertical grip. Now, if this is anything solid, the new teaser signifies a EM1 body size camera and not the X that many were expecting, which is quite interesting since the X is due for an update since its 2019 launch. So these are all the new physical changes and potential enhancements to what we are used to for the past five years. In the Japanese release, it also mentioned more computational stuff, but without further elaborations. Olympus pioneered computational photography in mirrorless cameras. We know this is their strength. Together with the strongest IBIS in the world, the new OM camera should carry this on. What I'm expecting is better deep learning AI autofocus. The EM1X give us what can be achieved, but while Olympus started it, they didn't move quick enough. Now, almost all manufacturers have caught up with their own version of deep learning AI recognition. So, if the new WOW camera is to level the play field, we should expect a boost in this department, together with a new sensor and processor. 
However, I don't want to speculate what they will be, because it is too late to speculate anything. The teaser said that the development on this new flagship is already in its final stages. So that means OMDS has already chosen a sensor and has been testing for months. Whatever the new sensor tech you're reading simply won't be in this generation. Yet it will be better. Well, it has to be better. I do hope that it will have better ISO performance, faster readout and better dynamic range. And finally, video. Well, given the latest push in the outdoor market, I'm unsure if we should expect a major change in the way that Olympus had been doing for years. Though, some upgrades should make their debut, such as 4K60 and maybe 1080 in 240. But I hope they are all oversampled for crispier and more punching videos with high bit rates and better sampling. At present, I don't have high expectation in the video side until OMDS proves me wrong. Even though I use my EM1s for video projects for all my clients, to success in the video world, OMDS needs to build a vast network of collaborating companies who can provide supplementary support in the video making world. Olympus made the start with Atomos and ProRes RAW, but we need more, a lot more. And all this takes time and can't be done overnight. So only time will tell if OMDS really wants to push in this area. But with everyone, literally everyone but Pentax and Ricoh is making a push in the video sector. I have confidence that OMDS will eventually catch up, but I hope it won't be as long as five years. As OM system is the new name, we can have a completely new naming convention for all the new cameras. It can also mean that OM Digital Solution is wiping it clean, refreshing the entire camera lineup. Remember, Olympus started the OM with the EM5 and not the EM1. So OMDS may change it by launching the flagship, showcasing what they have in their magic book, giving us everything we want for a pro Michael Four Thirds body, then launch the lower models after. This is certainly an interesting strategy, but given the rapid changing camera landscape and the impatience from all the angry customers and Michael Four Thirds haters, it makes sense. The question is, will all the new features enough to justify the word wow that OMDS executives use extensively? Perhaps the new camera will be called EM Wow. <laughs> Whatever it is, I will eagerly await. That's it folks, let me know what you think about the teaser and let's have a fun discussion together in the comment section below. You know what to do now, like if you enjoyed this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking and of course, OM system. Peace.